Wow. That's awesome. But it will work for a mangrove snapper, baby. Wow. <laughs> Ming! Another big bang! Bigger mango. Oh, oh, big. Just another giant mango! <laughs> all right, dropping it all the way down to the bottom. Get another on the bike. Oh. We just got back to the house guys and uh, I actually just got back from West Marine. Let me just show you a little, a little tidbit of what I got. Ooh, look at this, look at this guys. To add to the collection, I just stocked up on some brand new pen battles. These are, these are pen battle twos. These are like one of my favorite, just like one of my favorite setups to use and uh, grab a few more things here and what we're gonna be doing today guys is we're gonna be going into the boat which is on the side of the house right now and I'm gonna be showing you guys the rig that we use in this episode we actually caught so many fish in this past episode I decided to make it two episodes because we just caught hogfish mangrove snapper I mean we caught so many fish but I wanted to show you guys the exact rig up so that's what we're going to be doing with these. All right, guys. So now we're up in the boat and I am going to be showing you guys the rig really quick that we used in this episode. It's just not going to take long. But first and foremost is what I like to use is 20 pound liter. Um, and I like to use fluorocarbon. And let's see. Get 20 pounds. And I like to just spread my arm, just an arm's length of liter. And what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be doing Albright fishing knot. Check this out. Albright fishing knot. So you make a loop in this, this uh, leader line. And I like to make a loop inside the main line. So it's like this. And then you overlap these loops like that. And you want to hold each tag end of the loop. You want to spin the main line up back towards the main line as many times as you wish. I mean, I, I usually do like seven to 10 times. Just depends on what you guys like. You seven, 10 times right up the loop. You put it right back to the, through that loop like that. And then you just simply just cinch it down. So that way that line goes straight up the leader and it locks in just like that. That's exactly how I tie my Albrights. Now, now that's a regular Albright knot right there. But what I like to do is I like to tie a few hitches. I'll do one, a uh, one single hitch, and then I'll do a double hitch, a double looped hitch, just to lock it into place. And what that does is that prevents any slipping um, at all. I usually don't get any slipping in my knots. Albright is something I use for all knots when tying braid or mono. You know, the, the reason why I like the Albright is you can literally, you can tie Albright knot to, uh, I can get more of that tag in if I want to. Um, you can actually tie an Albright knot to any kind of fishing line. It doesn't matter the thickness of the diameter. A lot of people like to use uni knots. Uni knots are good for when the diameter of the line of the braid and the and the leader are the same or like tying line to line i like to use uni knots but nine times out of ten but nine times out of ten i'm using uh an albright fishing knot for all my rigs now another uh, knot i like to tie when free lining is a loop knot um, and most of you guys know how to do that on here but that's not for this application this application right here is for um this is a hog fish rig uh, or they, you know, they call them hog rigs, uh, hog ball. A buddy uh, by the name of John makes these out of Tampa Bay, and he does a really well job doing it. Now, what this does is when the bait's on the bottom, it allows the bait to move naturally, a lot like what a, a loop knot does. So for this application, you do not need a loop knot into this hogfish rig. So... You, this is not only a hogfish rig. That's why I'm actually showing you this video. We actually caught a ton of mangrove snapper and other species too 
which you'll be seeing me roll in those clips here in just a second. Um, but before I do, I'm just gonna finish off this rig. One, two, three, four, and back through, just like a regular fishing knot, but then I just loop it back through that main loop. Um, it's a very common fishing knot, nothing special, but that's all I use and it works. And uh, we're gonna catch a few mangrove snapper and I got something special to share with you guys right after you guys see these clips of us catching these fish. <laughs> Just a start. My reel's all messed up. I, I gotta switch reels. That ain't gonna work for a hogfish. So that won't work for a hogfish. But it will work for a mangrove snapper, baby! What? <laughs> Dude! Give me wow. some of that, bro! Actually, yeah, you throw right there. Give me some of that for the wow. first fish of the day, bro. Come on. Dude, that's stupid. Yeah, be careful. <laughs> wow. That's a good start <laughs> on a piece of shrimp. Flat line just got eight. Dude, that's crazy. Might be a yellowtail. Yeah, I'm gonna close the gun, man. This reel is all discombobulated. What do we got here? Mang! Dude. Another big mang! Dude, a bigger mang. Oh, yes! Yes, sir! Oh my gosh! I like it! I like it! Oh my gosh! I am not disappointed Woo! with that. God, look at that! Heck yeah! Free line bang, bro. <laughs> 17 inch mango snapper. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm gonna set up the chum. Look at that bottom. What do you say, Nate? We put out a little chum? Uh -huh. What kind of chum is that? Yellow tail snapper chum. Aquatic nutrition. Let's try it. Got the Manhattan milk stuff. Those. Look at this, dude. I might take a bite before. I didn't even eat breakfast this morning, Fish Nate. Stuff. Look at that fermenting. That's awesome. Perfect. That, that'll last hours, man. It's nice. crazy how long it lasts. Something tiny. Let yellow tail. What? Yeah, baby. That's like a nice fish. That's pretty good. Snapper-ish, huh? It was a real, um, no, it was a real subtle pickup. Yeah, real subtle. What'd you have on trim? Yeah. It might be a hog. Yep. Oh, just another, just another giant mango. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hold them up, baby. Hold them up. Wow. That's awesome. Look at the size of this freaking thing. Almost 18. Almost 18 inch mangs. There's three in the box already. That's awesome. I was just swimming away. <laughs> Look back and the rod was just doubled over. Yet again. Oh my God. He's small. He's only like 15. Yeah, he's only like 15 <laughs> inch. Oh my gosh. So I really hope you guys enjoyed that episode. We were just killing it on the mangrove snapper. It's not the catch, clean, and cook like I usually do, but uh, I think I have enough catch, clean, and cups of mangrove snapper, at least for now, at least for the next couple days. But anyways, guys, I wanted to share with you guys something at the end of this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed that part of the, the video. I hope you guys enjoy, thought that the, the rigging um, part of that episode was informative too. I don't know if it was. Let me know in the comments below. But look guys, I got, I got a surprise for you guys. So, I was very limited with, uh, with my website stuff going on before with how many shirts or what sizes I had and what colors I had, um, whether I could do hats or mugs or guys, I can do it all now. All colors, um, all sizes, uh, hats, uh, shirts. This is actually one, one of our new designs right here. Uh, got the got the salty on the shoulder. Uh, we we actually have these ones now. Like, see that salty on the shoulder, and then the back, salty. That's like one of our staple colors right there. I love. A lot of people love these colors. And then right here, we got the black series. Got the black series with a sleeve print. And then we got the new hats out. Um, these are the, the snapback trucker style hats. 
a lot of people have been requesting these for a long time guys so I hope with as many people as requested these I hope it's worth it that we have them now so the salty hats are in um, not only that but the special series which is the floral ser series that I just came out with we just launched these as well these are brand new and these are available as well so if you guys want to order any of these so just just let me know in the comments below or reach out to the email um, address that's linked right down below and you can request the shirt that shirt hat that you want and we'll be sure to get it to you guys again i really hope you guys enjoyed this episode i really really appreciate any support that you give me um, especially with the new apparel line that's out um, it really helps this channel grow it allows me to do uh, more of what I love to do and, and just share these experiences with you guys. If you haven't done so already, hit that big thumbs up button, subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you guys in just a few days.